Mic check, mic check. It's five o'clock, Charles. Yeah, we're on time. <laughs> You're watching Chelsea and Tony live. And today we're going to be reviewing your black and white photo. So submit now, as soon as the show starts, if you're watching live, go to sdp.io slash submit. You can submit your photo and hopefully we get to it to review it. We'll also be talking about Instagram bouquet. We've got some totally weird, crazy chit chat today and a little bit of news. So stay tuned. But first, this episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. They have beautiful award-winning templates, an all-in-one platform, 24-7 customer support. If you can drag and drop, you can make your own Squarespace website. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com slash Tony and use the offer code portfolio to get 10% off of your first purchase. Thanks, Squarespace. And if you have a Squarespace portfolio, visit sdp.io slash link during the show and give us your portfolio and we'll take a look at it yeah, during you can, the live show. You can even set up a trial, the free trial. It's for 14 days and submit the trial to us and we can review that. Yeah, you could do that really fast right now. Oh. Um, I don't know. What should we do? Should we go through Ooh, some news? Dang. Uh, next week. That was loud. Sorry, people. Next week. I'm like a bowl in a china shop. We're going to be reviewing your storytelling photos. What does that mean, Chelsea and Tony? What are these words you're saying? There has to be a clear story in your photo. So if it's just a landscape and there's nothing in it, we're going to say, no, stupid. We're going to just go right by it. Make sure that there is storytelling. There are elements that let us know what's going on. Use your imagination. Go out and take a picture for this challenge. It's going to be a fun one. Yeah, come up with a story and try to show it in the picture. And can I emphasize it needs to be a story that the viewer can see? Because some, so many people took a picture of a story that they knew, like, oh, my kid's graduating high school, but you just look like a kid. Yeah. Like if they're graduating high school, we need the hat going up in the air or something like that's the story. Make it an interesting story. Like it can't just be a portrait at the beach. The story is he's at the beach. That's a boring story. So try to add some other elements. Make it interesting. Last week's winner. Um, every week we assign picks to our favorite pictures and then you can go at to sdp.io slash vote after the live show and pick your favorite and the winner gets a prize. And last week's winner was Fabian, Fabian Prince. Prince. And his photo was beautiful. Yeah. We had a night photography, night and astro show, and Kyle Wolf was a guest. He had incredible feedback. You should go back and watch it if you haven't seen it. And this was the winner. Congratulations, Fabian. You'll get a $20 gift certificate to our store. That can get you multiple ebooks or a paperback book. You can get a shirt. Uh, there's some other stuff in there too. Check it out. <laughs> Thanks for sending it in. Let's go over just one point of news. It's been pretty slow lately, but Instagram released uh, what they call the focus feature, which basically adds some background blur using either the front or back camera. So this is software only. You don't need an iPhone X or any fancy hardware. It should work with like any old phone. And I tried it out and it works pretty good. Like on the left here, this is just the selfie camera on my phone. On the left, you see without focus and on the right, you see with focus and uh, I, I think it's really great that people get uh, people without a camera can kind of experiment with different aspects that photographers have been exploiting for a while, like the ability to just take away some of the dis background distractions by defocusing it a little. This reminds me of our future of photography episode where we were saying that more things would be done in software. Yeah. So it's happening. It doesn't look perfect but it looks pretty good yeah like the edges of my hat here are a little weird like the hat my hat is pretty close to the focal plane so it should be sharp but the algorithm just isn't quite that smart uh, and i can see like around my face here there are some details that are still sharp and like look here there's definite weirdness here and here um, but most people won't notice that especially just on instagram since everybody's clients. viewing it yeah. on their phone i was actually wondering if that affected your eyes because your eyes are like so sharp in the left picture yeah I or think maybe his, it would miss focused or something you i know? think his skin and his eyes look less in focus less sharp yeah i you're right everything is a little less sharp it is it is different there too that makes no sense but that's what it did 
Maybe it just blurs everything. I wanted to also mention that Sam is joining us today. Oh, hey, Sam. Sorry. She's, Hello. Hi, Sam. She's looking over your photos, calling through them. She's answering your comments and your questions. So if you have a comment or question for any of us, you can ask in the chat and Sam will relay it to us, maybe. Thank you, Sam, for joining us. Sam, I need to import some uh, pictures. Do you have any questions for us already? We do have a couple already. Oh, um, awesome. Uh, Raycon Diab says, I want to start Lightroom in Photoshop. How do I start teaching myself and what, well, he's asking what laptop, but I thought this might be a good segue into um, your Lightroom and Photoshop books. We what do a great idea, Sam. have Lightroom and Photoshop books and they're geared towards beginners to intermediate. So if you're just starting, I think you'll be able to handle it. Um, and then what laptop? I don't know. I mean, that's tough because the landscape for laptops changes all the time. Yeah. Uh, and I, I would definitely search our channel for my iPad review. Because if you're getting a laptop, you might be happier with an iPad. That's a possibility. But basically, um, if you if you also look on our chat, chat channel and search for laptop, you'll see that I did a video which talks about the traits you should look for in a laptop. But it's impossible to recommend a specific laptop number, like model number, because they change mm. so fast. What else, Sam? Um, Naj T says, and Tony, this is going to test your um, memorization. Oh boy, <laughs> we, we might you might have to uh, come back to this one. But Tony, Tony, on SDP page one fifty four, do you know what "on the job" refers to in Britain? And then there's a smiley face. Does that do you know what he's talking about? On the job in Britain. I'm gonna guess it's something dirty. <laughs> Knowing the British people. No, you put it in your book. Yeah, you put it in the book. He's asking you what it means, why you wrote that. <laughs> we'll have to, maybe we could answer that on the next I, show. We'll I'll have back. to look up the page. What's, do you have any other context? Just, just the words on the job? Uh, Tony? I mean, I would imagine that I might say that if it was just a professional working. <laughs> oh, Chelsea's going to get a book. <laughs> yeah, I saw a book, so I'm going to look while you... But what does it mean in England? It says, do you know what on the job refers to in Britain? I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm opening a can of worms we shouldn't be opening. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I have well, no well, idea because that's our animals chapter. <laughs> maybe they have an old an old book. Yeah, maybe they, they have. have. Oh, that's true. They yeah. have a different version. All right, that and that question will never be answered. We'll never know. I'm sure somebody in the comments will dig it out and figure <laughs> it out. Let's take a look at some pictures. This is from. DJ photography in Boston. It's a black and white shot. I think one of the things we're going to be looking for in black and white is shots that take advantage of black and white, that focus on the form and the shape and the light, or use black and white to kind of eliminate color distractions. Right. If the color is distracting from the form and shape that you had in mind, the composition of the photo. Um, I think this building has some potential for black and white. I, I, this is driving me crazy. This thing in the left corner there that's just kind of, oops, did not mean to do that. <gasps> then maybe I should tilt it. So I'd like to crop it out or something because I, I do think that you have a good eye and this building has some potential because it is just so geometric. I don't think I'm going to be able to get there just by cropping it. But getting rid of some of those distractions, I think, does help. Oh, oh. chessboard. That seems like a natural. I like this one a lot. There's a lot of empty space. Do you see the histogram here? Um, so I'm going to just up the exposure a bit more. Yeah, stp.io slash top tip. Oh, Tony, you just have all of the short links memorized, don't you? Yeah, but now i got to start working on memorizing every, every revision of, of STP in every page. <laughs> and you can see that it's just, it was just a little bit underexposed. But I like the movement in the shot. Your shutter speed wasn't so fast that you you um, froze every single movement. And I like this board and the bottle caps. It's cool. Yeah, great shot. Oh, we have to give that a pick. I do anyway. Pick. Okay, Kyle Jackson here. Kyle Jackson. This um, tree needs a haircut. That's definitely the focus for me. There's There's a few things that are distracting from it. Yeah, and the fact that we kind of clip into the edges of it just a little bit, detracts from the overall composition. I can see we have other trees kind of coming in, which is going to make it hard. I would go in and maybe uh, like cut down those trees. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, you're so crazy. Interesting tree. 
I can see why he wanted a picture of it. So here we have seagulls taking over the world, as per usual. Jail, jailbird view from Alcatraz. Um, I would definitely follow top tip here too, and yeah, uh, raise the black point so that we have a little more contrast in there and, and generally. But yeah, the focus there is on the shape, so you might try simplifying it. A doe in the snow. I like the rhyming. I like the animal. Yeah, I think it's a super cute shot. Uh, I I wish the bottom of the frame had a little more space. You have to check the edges of the frame. I know with wildlife, sometimes you're just shooting as fast as you can, and you don't necessarily get the chance to like step back and think about it. So I press Alt, and then I click on the white slider here, and you can see there's no white point in the photo, which I understand you don't want to overexpose the snow, but it's always nice to have a white point. I'm going to give Jerry and pick, because I, I love that shot. I love all the snow. The shutter speed there, it could have been slower, but at the same time, we want to freeze that snow and kind of capture that effect. That was a lot of snow. Um, first, the fact that the only colors in the watermark meant, meant my eye went right to the watermark and it distracted me a little bit. But setting that aside, I think this is a, a great portrait. What do you think? I think it's a nice portrait. One thing uh, that I'm always on the lookout for when I'm doing a black and white portrait is to make sure that the skin tones aren't too similar to everything around it. So you can see her face is about the same brightness as the background. You're not getting that pop. You're not getting that contrast. So I would just put the contrast up a bit more. And then her hair here is framing her face with the shadows and it's drawing your eye a little more. So a, one very common mistake I see with black and white portraits is that it's all the same tone of gray. It's just like gray, gray, gray. There's not um, contrasty light on their faces so everything can just look like a mush and just be careful of that. Don't be afraid to put a lot of contrast in. You can even just drop the blacks a little bit and go for a more dramatic look. And another tip I'd give you is to go into the actual colors when you convert it to black and white. You see you can go to this black and white um, mix channel and you can, I can't do it now, but you can uh, change the reds and the oranges so that if you have an orange tone in the skin, you could make that brighter or darker depending on what your background looks like and what look you want. Great suggestions. Hmm. Ray and Rainy Day by Stuart Green. Yeah. Uh, gray Day is no excuse to have your picture be gray. You can always have a white point in there. Um, you know, there's so much detail in it that it's it's hard for my eye to settle anywhere. So my help you out. Do you have restless eye syndrome? It could be. You could even crop into the photo the flower and maybe just show a quarter of it, but we need to simplify I love the water bit. drops on it. Yeah, I think that's beautiful. I also wonder if going to black and white might have actually lost something there since the colors of the flower might be so pretty. Ooh, are these those poppies that were at the Tower of London? Oh. Um... I like the lights, the leading lines of the lights. That's nice. Um, I know that the poppies are red, so that may have actually been interesting in color, but I don't know if the light, the, the warm lights were overpowering that. Um, but it's nice. You have a white point. You have a lot of contrast. I like uh, that the wet cobblestone is accentuated. Oh, really? I felt like there was too much of the cobblestone in the foreground. Like too much muchiness? Taking up like almost half the frame. Oh, I like this picture. Just nice, very simple. Yeah, nice shot. Oh my gosh, this man is smoldering. <laughs> Black and white portraiture, the seeker. Ooh. He's I like dapper. his ascot. I'm yeah, gonna, I didn't even know what that was called. I believe he has a camel hair jacket. Dang. This man is fancy. Yeah, this week we're going to not care about your pictures, but we're just critiquing fashion. And this guy totally would get a pick. I mean, he has such a dramatic expression. I would make the photo dramatic as well. Yeah. So this is all one tone like I was talking about. And then, I mean, maybe I went a little too far. You know, I'm, I'm working on the fly here. It's a little rushed. But here you have the drama and the editing matching the drama of his expression. So match your moods, your, your editing moods, to the mood of the photo. There you go. I'm going to give this one a pick. Good shot, Christopher. Yeah, it's like Wes Anderson or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He reminds me of uh, Bill Murray. A lot of lines here. Are you loving him, Tony? 
Um, I was just thinking how prominent this road is. Like almost the whole shot is just this kind of nothingness. And then we have like so much detail up here. It just feels so unbalanced, doesn't it? Maybe it represents their soul. Um, if there was somebody like bicycling across the middle of the frame, I don't know. I just feel like it needs a more of a focal point. A llama? Or it just needs to straight up be tighter. Yeah. What about a funky crop? Yeah, that feels more balanced to me already. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, Kyle Medina, of course. A Kyle named Medina. You get a pick. You definitely struck me on this. I, I got Justin with that one. He loves it. You, you did that like two years ago and it cracked me up. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to set my phone in another two years. Prepare to laugh your ass off, Justin. <laughs> At that point, it's going to get funnier and funnier. It's going to grow. Um, I, I... I think this is perfect. I hope you hung out for a while okay. and kind of waited for cars or motorcycles to come through and maybe it would have helped, but at the same time, maybe that was He was in the perfect. road. He would have died. <laughs> Jeez. Days end by Daryl. Ooh, it sounds like a cologne. It really does. Uh, I... <laughs> sometimes when you do HDR processing, you lose contrast. And if we look at the histogram here, it's all in one big kind of lump here. And and indeed, this is all just shades of gray. Beware the lump, you guys. Yeah, beware the lump. Heed the lump. That's a great clickbait title for a video, Chelsea. We got to beware my on my lumps. People will be like, oh, <laughs> is she being anti-sexy? <laughs> I think you could definitely get in there and just dial back the overall <laughs> HDR-ness of it. Yeah, there's a lot with that. Oh, that's really Dang. pretty. I love this just single kind of focal point this in there. This is a very lonely stick. Yeah, I wish it was a swan or something a little more exciting. Wow. I'm gonna put down the stick like that. Nonetheless, that stick is <laughs> prominent. Oh, that's really cool. I gotta give this a pick. I was reaching you for the You have contrast. It's a good composition. I like the leading lines into the nothingness. Yeah, awesome shot. Nate. Imagine if that was just a Lego and a smoke machine. <laughs> I would be even Extra more credit. impressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should do places that. might go. <laughs> oh, like this little screaming baby. No, he's just not what he wanted to do. Today. I like the title. It's just infant. <laughs> Some infant. I know this was supposed to. So I like the processing a lot, but um, it looks like they're fighting over this baby because he's not peaceful and his arms are out. So it looks a little. It looks uncomfortable. Yeah, I think the whole shot's a little uncomfortable just because we all sympathize with the baby. Wait a second. Go back to that baby. Okay. Oh, I can't even peek in the shadows. No, I think this is the, they, is this the same you. person. No, it's not. Same sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to discover. Okay, Lost in a Lost Place by Michael. Lost Place Theobald. I think this is deliberately low contrast. What do you think? I do. Um, I love her pose. I love the blurred background. I love to see this light leading into the distance. Yeah. Love it. Love so much that you did. Don't love the washy outlook. Yeah. Maybe just a little. Maybe just punch it up a little. Yeah, I think the pose is really good. I've, I've been kind of... Maybe there could be a couple of tweaks to it, but I think she did a really good job posing. I, I also dialed back the sepia just a little. Don't want to offend the artist but you asked for my opinion yeah i like a little extra contrast in there okay that's nice nikolai car wendell i love the lines here i just i'm going to give it a pick it's just something something so balanced about it so here are another hdr shop oh sorry i was going on to the next i was one. just like observing okay Another HDR shot, and I, I, as a photographer, I have a different feeling about it than the average consumer would. But we have some of that haloing going on, which it's is a little mushy. Like, but, and again, we see the look at the histogram. We can see it's kind of taken all the contrast out of it. Yeah, I think that's already much better. Ooh, you've abstracted it, Jose. I like that. Um, but what if we I. The tilt feels like it's not quite enough. Like either it should be straight or it should be a little more. Well, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you run with this. Well, I'm real nervous. Okay. I don't mean to make you nervous. I'm not sure that I can do 
the perfect job of it. But that's interesting. Do you get what I'm getting at? Like it should be more or less. I I liked in that his, uncomfortable space. but I also liked yours. I'm gonna give it so a pick. I'm having a yeah, definitely. Um. So. Hmm. Here they compose it around both the car and the reflection. I do like that, but the car and this leading line, this shoulder line perhaps on the car is all pointing towards the power lines, which yeah. I'm finding a bit distracting. So very, the background is cluttery, but I like the reflection. It also feels top heavy because visually the reflection doesn't have as much weight. So I think I'd just push the whole thing down some, but you found a great angle for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's a good They shot. did a lot of things right. That's a really nice scene. Let's check this white point here. Do you see this big empty gaping spot? Yeah. You can brighten that I'd up like a little bit. I'd like to go there. Yeah, I like this a lot. I wish we had mountains near us. Yeah. Smoky. Mountains are nice. We have hills. Good shot, Amanda. Michael. This is so just foggy. Yeah, it's... It's a, such a great scene, but it's just looking for a focal point, don't you think? We need that cyclist to come through. A ghost. Or a ghost. <gasps> oh, we've got a chimney sweep. His name's Justin, like you. Yeah. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Lots of us. There aren't many. I like the grittiness of the processing. It matches, like the grittiness of the job you know i think he made a good choice there is this person is this still a real job i was wondering that too yeah. like is he dressed up or is this for real he he seems too happy about this he looks like one of those guys in the uh, mystic village yeah but he has the hands of a working man <laughs> that's a good point yeah. So I'm really confused. Maybe you could fill me in, other Justin. <laughs> and look into it, Justin. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a pick. Not you, Justin, other Justin. Wow, this is getting really confusing. <laughs> the Long Island Hillbilly strikes again. <laughs> Justin, you need to stop encouraging me over there. Okay. Uh oh. it's it's a composite, right? Is it just me? The skyline is Compton? Yeah. Wow. I, I could be wrong. Those maybe. are dramatic clouds, though. But I like the composition. That almost looks like that double exposure on the clouds. Oh, oh yeah, I see what you mean. I don't know. This is a good candidate for photo forensics, my new show that no one else wants to make. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really cute shot. This is cute. Um, I like his expression. I like the story here. It's really sweet. Uh, we have the same thing going on where, like, the gray tones in his face, I think, are a little washed out. So you could just add a little bit of contrast. Yeah, there you go. It would be better to do in the color channel like I showed before. But nice. And if we took that strap off the camera, it'd be a lot better. Straps are a pain. Tony, be careful. Uh-oh, you skipped that cormorant. No, I, I went back. I skipped oh. her. I love this picture. I'm going to give this a pick. I, yeah, she has I like such it a, too. like a very genuine expression. Yeah, the lighting is just nice and soft. The background just completely fades out. Great shot. And she's interesting looking. I get tired of seeing like kind of perfect faces. Hers has so much character and she has such a sweetness about her. Um, I would like it if you would crouch down a little bit and maybe move this up a little higher so it'd be more in front of the foreground then it would feel a little bit deeper. So I have an answer on the that guy that looked like a chimney sweep. Oh yeah, yeah. so let's follow up on the chimney sweep. Uh, Caleb, w <laughs> yeah, Caleb Wilson said that chimney sweep guy is named Robert. That was part of Dickens on Center Street here in uh, Fernandia uh, Beach, Florida, back in December. Wow! Wow, that was a good know. costume. It was right down to the hands, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you weren't expecting it to be in Florida, were you? No. <laughs> It just shattered everything I know about Florida. They have chimney sweeps there. I'm going to have to end the show early to just take this in. Yeah. What do you think, Tony? I 
I think it's too busy and we need a focal point. Like we need something yes. front and center. That's our focal point. <laughs> Yeah, um, but I, lo I, I love like the, the line of the road. I that's kind of brings it together. I see what they see. Yeah. I, the curve, and I like the curve. Let's look at a couple more pictures, and then we'll look at a portfolio. See what people sent into oh, us. Oh, sounds fun! I love this. It's so wispy. Yeah, this is a nice, clean shot. No particular distractions in there. Just great composition. Very good shot, Brandon. You did it, Brandon. Oh, I want to give that one a pick. Okay. I was pondering that too. I think it's really good. <laughs> what do you think's going on here? I, it just seems like he he has his phone out, but he must, must have already looked at the whole internet, and so he got bored of that. <laughs> oh, see, I imagine that this guy was like, I heard you sing opera. Can you show me? And he was like, oh. And then he's like, oh, my God, that's beautiful, George. My God. Are they the same person? Is this one of those multiple <laughs> exposure shots? Look at the little dancing cherubs in this lady. I love this shot. I'm giving this a pick. There's so much going on. Um, let's pop over and I'll look at a portfolio. Uh, Sam, do you have any questions for us? I do have some questions here for awesome. you. We have a couple of paid questions. Wow. Um, we have a $20 question came wow. in. Dang. A money yeah. comment. Yep. JJ Gowen. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Um, would you have any reservation about buying a used Canon 400 millimeter f2.8 IS USM version one since that lens has reached the end of its 10 year service life? I'm worried if parts would be available in a few more years. Yeah, I'd have reservations about that. You, you probably can't get it serviced. In, in which case, when something inevitably breaks, then throw it out or you find a third party. You know, you we, we have had some stuff serviced by third parties, like KEH will service stuff. I guess you might f arrange the service ahead of time. Find somebody who says they'll be able to service it in five years or whatever you think the service life is going to be. Good question. Yeah, and that a good is a good answer. question. Because it does come up. I, yeah. I've had a few things where I went to get it serviced and it's like, no, it's no longer supported. I think our 500 F4 might be out of service now too. <gasps> That makes me so scared. And if I see you holding it with flip flops again, I'm going to be really mad. <laughs> yeah, I went and I, I got a service just proactively just because I knew it was going to go like end of life. Wow. Yeah, it's that old. We have another comment, a paid comment. Someone paid just to say these Thursdays. I'm sorry, I should say Karen's VSG says these Thursdays are what I wait for every week. Thank you. Oh, oh that's thank so you. Nice. That's flattering. Dang, Karen, you're nice. Um, the British, um, I don't know if we want to re come back to that, but we'll just say. Um, <laughs> hmm. Can you allude it's, to what it means on the job? Sure. Um, on the job means um, um, mammal. Wait, let's think about mammal. this. Uh, mammal? Mammal Mammal mating season. That's the, like the least, most PG way I can think of saying it. <laughs> but human mammal mating season. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Year round, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I didn't want to get too personal with Sam. Well, no, take the time. <laughs> so take Friday, the time, take the time part out. You know, it's procreation, people. Procreation. Oh, that's a British thing. You guys are need to I be more so. direct. Honestly, I love Britishisms. Yeah. We need like a British translator says, on the show. Yeah, someone actually said, um, Tony, maybe you need a British Urban Dictionary. I can't believe that when I read that in your book. <laughs> <laughs> that is a thing sometimes you can publish a book in multiple countries and everything will be fine and then it'll get to some other country and they're like oh how could you say that oh. <laughs> i've had that happen with my very boring technical books a few times wow okay let's look at deep woods photography Wait, here i wanted to look okay we will well, was there another one you want to look at yeah but we can't we already promised them they're already watching they'll be devastated um, Let's look. Why do I am upset? Because I don't. I want an about page or something. Like I, I don't know who the photographer is here. I mean, mm -hmm. I, go to their jump Facebook. to their Facebook page, but you kind of want to stay on the site. It's Bernhard. Bernhard. Okay. Um. Can you get back? Uh -oh. Yeah, I have to jump here. I just opened it. Did you see your notifications okay. in Facebook? I had like a thousand of them. Okay. <laughs> 
Um, I like yeah. this first picture. It It's like, you know, takes up the whole screen and it, it's interesting. Yeah, I love that. And, and then, then I love the scrolling. Yeah, that's a Squarespace design. This is one of their new templates. Did you get the this scrolling is, one? Um, mine is scrolling now. Yeah, I think I might have a different template, but it's a similar effect. And the scrolling is a much more modern way to accomplish moving through photos than like clicking the little clicking left and right arrows. Clicking is so 2008. Especially when you consider nowadays, uh, we find that more than half of people consuming our content are on mobile devices. Oh. And tap, tap, tap is kind of uncomfortable on a phone or a tablet where it's like flicking. So that's the reason, that's one of the big reasons to use Squarespace is if you didn't, if you have Squarespace, you can just switch templates and you're instantly caught up with changing technology without having to do anything else. Everything is moved over automatically. If you don't have Squarespace, then you have to learn CSS and you have to keep up with web design and all this and it's an impossible. Well, not only task. that, Squarespace automatically makes it work really well on your phone. It looks nice. Yeah, I you, I do always test it out and it always works. And if, if you anybody else and it can be very very difficult to get it ported over to mobile devices i like how he separated the elements here fire earth air and water very interesting it does make me want to clip <clears throat> clip oh but wait here we change formats now we have to click left and right and that's they give you a lot of flexibility on how you set up your pages but one important back. aspect of user interface design is to keep one common user interface throughout because you don't want to have <gasps> to be oh there's his about page i would Add an about link, even if it just jumps you down to this part of the page, just so somebody can find it. Because obviously that's what I was looking for and I couldn't find it. Uh, do you want to check out one of his other categories here? Sure. I I'm like curious about, oh, go new... for it. Can you click it? Um, yeah, it would make that clickable too. We can we can click it from up here. He turned off his right clicks. Uh, oh, you. Let's go to the abstract. Oh, okay. So there's just two photos here. No, oh, there's more here. Oh. Yeah, okay. So there are some aspects of the user interface that are a little confusing to me, like why we had kind of two separate slideshows scrolling. We have like vertical and horizontal motions we have to keep up with, but I would, you can just simplify that. I would just redesign the interface to simplify it and have scrolling throughout. Um, let's see what Brendan had to, wait, what was his name? Bernhard. Bernhard. Let's see what Bernhard had to say about using Squarespace. Is that uh, Bernhard or like Bernard? Nobody knows. Bernard. It could be. He says, nice and easy, just how I like it. I like stuff that's easy too. We have that in common, Bernhard. <laughs> uh, who doesn't like stuff that's easy? Masochist. <laughs> if you're a masochist, <laughs> don't go to Squarespace. Otherwise, go to squarespace.com slash Tony, get yourself a 14-day free trial, set up your pictures, make them look awesome, modern, check it out on mobile devices, check your analytics, see who's visiting you, even set up a store so you can sell prints or digital images. If you like it, no obligation, use the coupon code portfolio to save yourself 10% off. Thanks, Squarespace. What do you think of that, Chelsea? Oh, I was trying to make you uncomfortable by... I'm never uncomfortable. Uh, you want to do chit chat or you want to look at some more pictures? Let's chit chat. What is that anyway? It's just garbage. I haven't been paying attention. Paul Bentley says, Tony and Chelsea then absolutely some, a absolutely some very common genes. I mean, they're almost identical to each other. You could definitely do a Photoshop swap over part thing and you wouldn't be able to tell who is who. They love themselves so much they manage to find somebody who looks exactly like themselves to marry. And even luckier, imagine finding a wife who loves photography just like you do. That really is a bonus. What? You're a strange person. <laughs> It was easy to find her because we have the same parents, so. Yeah, I was like, brother? <laughs> this is weird because I added a comment in without reading them. And, uh. Wyatt Earp says, want a secret? The woman in this is really his sister. Notice the facial features are the same. I didn't see your comment. I put that one in and they were basically exactly the same. I don't think we look that much alike. I don't think we look anything that alike. That much? You don't look anything alike. We don't look anything alike. It's so weird. And we have completely different genetic backgrounds too. Like you're Taino and I'm Middle Eastern and we have maybe olive colored skin in common, but that's about it. No. I don't think we look alike. <laughs> No. no. That guy, wow. No. He got me. Okay, Firestarter <laughs> says, wow, how you guys have changed over time. Much more charismatic now. Thank you. 
He watched one of our very early videos. It was our HDR video with the train. Oh. And yeah, if you want to laugh, go back to the beginning of our videos. We were so nervous all the time and the hardest thing about YouTube and the most important thing is to be yourself. And it's so dumb that it's so hard to be yourself well, on camera. What if you're a garbage person? Then you should be somebody else. <laughs> Aren't we all garbage people yeah. though? Go Go Jane says DJI shouldn't allow auto flying the drone in a direction where it can't avoid obstacles. Are you idiot? <laughs> and Tony, that was directed at you, so I'll let I you. Am sure. Yes, I am idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get this at all. Like people get so upset when I say, like you can hit a button on the drone and it will just take off in a direction without looking in that direction, and it's entirely intended to be able to film yourself when you're not manning the drone. Like they could make sure that you have your hands on the drone, like on the controller or something, but they don't. It's just supposed to fly itself without looking where it's going. It'll just crash into stuff. It's ridiculous. <laughs> you, are you idiot though? <laughs> that is also true, but I don't change my mind about this. Oh, this guy was so triggered in the name of justice. So much fakery going on here. It's like being at a feminist conference because the false reality presented sounds plausible until you look at it closely. I hate what digital is doing to photography. It is turning it into a charlatan's parade. Wow, it's so emotional. <laughs> Why did he have to bring up a feminist yeah. <laughs> conference in this weird scenario that he came up with? He's always thinking about it. Is it just because Kyle talked about like, uh, combining a couple of images to get the best final result like he's that mad about it the digital fakery mm -mm, i don't know this guy has other problems don't try to act like his only problem is with photography <laughs> <laughs> by the way he doesn't use his real name or picture i feel like if you're going to go around talking about how you hate fake stuff like you gotta use your real name and picture that's it okay that's all the chit chat well today. we can we can look at some more pictures that was a crazy chit chat right sam people think we're related that was ridiculous <laughs> what are we gonna do someone in, here, someone in here said um i can't find the comment now but uh when when you first meet the two of you that they thought that maybe you were related but now that they've been watching for a while uh, but oh, i never saw that similarity out. ever i never saw it <laughs> i never i don't see it either you cut out for a little bit but i i understood what you meant oh yeah <laughs> Okay, let's look at this next picture. Um, I think it's beautiful. I think they did a really good job capturing the Godrys. Yeah, I do too. And I like it. You know I have to mess with it if I like it. <gasps> Chapel of Bones. Jose Ricardo. <laughs> I know that you already submitted because... There's a Jose Mercado in my family, so I pretty much remembered your name. Oh, you saw him already. <laughs> Dang, Jose. Uh, There's actually a lot of Jose Mercados in your family. <laughs> well, they're both pretty common names. Yeah. Um, I guess my eye doesn't rest anywhere. It is this this booth is cool, but it needs like a second element of story because it's just a picture of a ticket booth but it that in itself is cool oh this is a great portrait i like her expression and her pose is very different she looks tough we have kind of like an old film filter on there you know little speckles and stuff yeah interesting yeah i like that and i like the background blur i'm gonna give it a pick that's pick like it. a 90s calvin klein ad or something yeah like that. <laughs> Oh, this is really cute. I like this. Oh, this is a little assortment of people. Okay, I like I'm this giving this one a pick too. This is great street photography. <laughs> it really is. Everyone has such an interesting expression. Like, what are these two talking about? I really would like to know. <laughs> and this guy, he's more chill than Tony has ever been. Excellent. Yeah, somebody should check for a pulse. <laughs> Those two ladies look like they're talking at the hair salon. And girl, did you see here about him next door? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're having a good conversation for sure. I think he's listening. See how his ear is tilted? Yes, he's he like, totally this is, listening. is good. <laughs> oh, you're right. That's what he's doing. <laughs> That's why they're all at the park. You know that. Yeah. Stay a while and think on me. Yeah, that's cute, but it's still, it's a, picture of a cool bench and it I don't know it needs something else it needs something 
Oh. I like the the people in the background there. I might even just I don't like the guy on the right. <gasps> like personally okay. we grew up Rude. together and you know. <laughs> I like okay. that better. Rude. I'm going to put I like I'm just going to put the whites up a little bit because there's some weird fringy stuff but Could we I wish we could just take five minutes and watch that whole sexy sax player video that's what's what it called that's what i thought of too Justin, i can't see a you know sax what we're talking now. about yeah and actually uh was. miguel is in the chat oh, oh miguel. hey miguel yeah, i didn't know you were there i was trying to us. think yeah miguel showed us this video of the saxophone player without a shirt on he's just playing <laughs> what is that song careless whisper yep over and over again it's very funny this is beautiful yeah let me give this one a pick i like the i don't know if it is actually scanned from a negative or not but i liked it a lot I'm never gonna dance again. Where is this? I want to go there. Drone yeah, that's pretty selfie. cool. You got a flower wow. in there, a cool outfit. You got to give Very that one cool. a pick. Very cool. I was gonna give that a pick. Very different. Ooh. In Boston. The leading line of the bench, like wow. I love this. We've been here, Tony. Yes. Many this is times. a city. <laughs> it's Boston. It's Boston. Can I just read something really quick? Yeah. yeah. Jonathan Cornell just said in huge caps, oh my goodness. I just watched the early HDR video. I love how you describe Chelsea as your cotographer, how things have changed. You said that? I said cotographer? Whoa. I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a second. I, oh, I read it wrong. Co-photographer. Co co-photographer. Oh, co-photographer. Oh. <laughs> That's how you described her. And this is Chelsea, my co-photographer. Well, we weren't married or anything at the time. Yeah, no, he's just saying how the old video, he just couldn't believe it. Yeah, yeah funny. it's funny. We were, we still are dorks, but we were super dorks. <laughs> All right, I thought I said cotographer, which is why I interrupted because I thought that was hilarious. Cotographer. <laughs> I immediately cringe because I don't know everything that I've done in the past, but I would be so ashamed of myself. <laughs> that is funny. Said, cotographer. Cotographer. I like the hard lighting. I think these are, what is that? What's His happening? hair's a little messy. Maybe he just woke up. No, I see what she's seeing too. Like a, like a. Like he has downy, almost like a baby, but then he has the white head of an adult. So I'm <laughs> confused. He might be adolescent. Looks like it's a little, a little gray. Oh, mm. chemtrails. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to add a chit chat. Someone got really mad at me because I made fun of the flat earthers and they called me a expletive. And it made me really excited. Oh, man. <laughs> I can actually get happy when people are, like, so mean that I know that they were just all torn up. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Sam, do you know if they asked millennials if they believed the Earth was round, like spherical? And only about two-thirds of millennials were willing to commit that they fully believed that the what? Earth was round. No. Yeah, about oh. a third of people said, oh, were I wasn't sure. That or What's that? Do you think that they were just messing with people? Like, I some, don't know. Some people are fake flat earthers, I've learned. Yeah. I like, mean, I, that makes more sense to me. Like, I might be a flat earther just to get a reaction. Just because so. it's funny? Yeah. Sam, please I don't mean, do that. Don't break no, my heart. I would never do that. I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I just actually saying it out loud that I might do that, I was cringing on the inside. You were like, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't do it. Let's go back to that car because that was beautiful. Okay. I like that. It's at a car show, which is rough, but I'm going to give it a pick because I really like it. Oh, spooky. Um, yeah, I think it's cool. I just, I wish it had a focal point. I was kind of a ghost jumping through looking for photos I could give some more unique feedback about. I'm going to give it a pick <clears throat> just to make you mad. <laughs> Oh, they got that good corn, see? Uh-huh. Okay. Here's what's up. It's not right. The exposure's not right. It's like, see this? You don't even have the dreaded hump. You have some kind of plateau of doom. We need to help. We need to do something. You just said the plateau of doom. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite Indiana Jones movie. Okay. I have a really sweet comment someone just made, if you'd like to hear it. Yeah. 
Geek49 says, I spend $42 a week. Sorry, that's a lie. I spend $2 a week just to get 24 hours of unlimited internet to watch your show. You are the reason I got a DSLR and started photography. I love you and my Nikon D5300. We oh, love you too. Thank you. Yeah, we love thank you. Thank you. you. That's very nice. I like nice comments too. I know we always share the mean comments, but I really appreciate the nice comments. Because they're funny. But Because yeah. the nice ones, if we read those, it makes us sound like we're bragging. But Well, we just got a $20 thank you from Rob till it's imagery said thank you for all that you do just now. $20. Oh, thank, thank you, Rob. Thank you so much. Wow, people are giving us so much love today. And you know what? I needed it. Because we have people harassing us online and it can be so stressful. So to know we're helping people and that they're nice to us, that just makes it worth it. That's really true. A big chunk of this week has just been putting up with just crap people are throwing at us yeah. for dumb things. Just mostly just anger. Yeah. This is beautiful. Yeah, it is. But I'm, I feel a little distracted by the photographer in the background. Like it completely takes me out of it. I, I, I hate shooting with other photographers it drives me crazy it happens all are the time are you talking at press about events. me because i set up everything for you <laughs> well we always take turns i would never want to be taking at photos at the same time as you oh there's someone here too yeah but i think the the model and the smoke look absolutely awesome i love the light on the shirt it's like there's something just so smooth it's almost like a painting it's beautiful oh I'm going to give this a pick. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? I, I am known to not like spot color, but you made a creative choice. Um, I'll put up the contrast a little bit just so that we can accentuate these shadows on her face. Oh, you know what else might help? I'll just... Well, it's not what I mean. Oh, the mouse moved. There we go. <laughs> okay. Whew. Oh. It's better. Blondie I like picture. that picture, by the way. I'm sorry. I liked it too. Spot colors are running joke. Blondie picture disc with strobes. That is pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to give that one a pick. That was a clever idea. They, It's oh, spinning. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is like before Apple Music. They had these things that had uh, the music was like encoded into it and you had ridiculously oversized players. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving him a pick because he has a focal point. Is this man really here? Look at his his janky pixel legs. Oh, uh, you're starting with the conspiracies. <laughs> you think his pixel <laughs> legs aren't <laughs> true? Maybe he's got pixel leg oh. <laughs> oh my God, is he really fake? Let's see, did they Photoshop in a, a fake focal point? Question What's everything. going on? I think you're right, Chelsea. Question everything. Oh. Does he have a shadow? He's not around. I think you're right, too. That it's a fake? I don't know. Oh, I think it's well, a fake. I There's definitely tell. an outside, but I think I think what happened is they blew it out. Oh, I think you're right. And then they recovered it. Well, I don't think they I I don't think they recovered it. Look at this look at the ground. See, look at the um the wood leans like look at that cut like where it's not even the same road. Like it turns into grass like immediately. <laughs> What is happening? Okay. Oh, or maybe, maybe the or maybe background is down. fake. I don't, I like, that road just doesn't make sense. I do see a shadow from his foot, but you're right. Maybe the background there is fake, but because there is something about it, like the background sharper than the silhouette. Like someone, or maybe it's not, and it's just like a dip down. You know how sometimes if the level drops, like. Oh, I yeah, I think it might be a dip. I don't. Like, if it's a dip, then then it wouldn't seem like it's, like, it almost looks like it just oh, yeah. immediately dips down. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't. Look at the haloing know. around his hat and his shoulders there. This is a prime candidate for my show. It could be that he's so heavily mean. backlit. This is awful. <laughs> I'm so but the sorry, picture, I'm sorry. We get so focused on dumb details. This is a beautiful picture. <laughs> I love the leading lines. I love that you have a focal point. We're crazy people. Okay? I'm very sorry. I like the shot, too. Chelsea, we, I just realized we have to go. <gasps> because it's kickball season. Do I have time for any comments yes. at all or questions? Okay, toss one out. All right, here's one. And uh, Danielle Sensig says, thank you for your videos and continuous work. They were really inspiring to me and very informative. I'm upgrading to a Nikon D7500, considering that the performance is in low light. Sorry, considering the performance in low light between DX and FX is not that much of an issue anymore. When do you think I should upgrade to FX? Only when it's your DX camera is failing you. 
people always have some kind of vague question, but if it's not doing the job for you, if you're not getting acceptable, acceptable pictures, or if you want a full frame lens, then upgrade. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you so much, Sam, for all of your help. Yay, thank you, Sam. Justin, my favorite Justin of the night. Anytime. Don't tell the other Justin. Of course. And thank you, Squirtle. I don't even think that other guy was named Justin to begin with. Wasn't it like Charlie or something? What's I don't know. <laughs> he made it up. He tricked me. And thank you, Squarespace, for making this show possible. If you'd like to try Squarespace for free, no credit card needed, get your free trial today at squarespace.com slash Tony. And if you decide to buy it, you can get 10% off with the offer code PORTFOLIO. So easy to use. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Sam, thanks so much. That, that is, is all. all. That is all. Okay. We actually do have to run. We have to get kicking. Go kick.